And so the disciples watched as their teacher, their Lord, their friend, the man they'd given everything up in order to follow, was laid into a tomb. A rock was rolled in front of the entrance of the tomb, burying their hopes right along with the body of Jesus. Now, that rock was immensely heavy. It was, it was guarded by Roman guards. They, they took their place to keep watch over the grave. I, I can just imagine the disciples asking themselves, well, now what? The people who had been following Jesus, some of them healed by Jesus, some of them uh, who had been cast aside by their society had been looked upon by Jesus with compassion and dignity, and yet now he's gone. I'm sure they're asking themselves, now what? I mean, yes, Jesus had prophesied about rising from the dead, but that, that, that just didn't happen every day. Like, that wasn't normal. And so what you see is the normal human response. Doubt, questioning. You know, it's interesting. People have asked me from time to time, do you, you, you say you believe, do you really believe what the Bible says about this? Do you believe that Jesus really rose from the dead? And if I'm being honest, <laughs> over the course of my life, my faith journey, yeah, I've had questions. I've had doubt. I think it's natural to ask big questions. But, but I'd like to ask another question. What if it's true? What if it's actually true that Jesus rose from the dead? Now, listen, I don't pretend to have answers to every question, but as I've wrestled through my own doubts, my own process, my own questions, some of the things that I see in Scripture have really helped to solidify my conviction that Jesus is who he says he is and, and really did die for the sins of the world and rise from the dead. Look at what the disciples did after they encountered the resurrected body of Christ. Scripture tells us initially that James, the half-brother of Jesus, that, that he'd once doubted Jesus, didn't believe that he was the Messiah. Scripture also tells us that there was another, um, another disciple, Thomas, who we often refer to as Doubting Thomas, that, that he didn't believe that Jesus had resurrected from the dead right away. And we all kind of get on him about that. But if we're honest, why should he? Why, why should they have believed that Jesus is who he said he was? I mean, people don't come back from the dead every day. But look what happens. The tomb door was not opened by human hands, heavily guarded by armed soldiers, sealed with a stone. No single person could have moved that stone. No, the resurrection power of God is what rolled the stone away. I mean, listen. If Rome had wanted to stop this Christian movement, if Rome wanted to prove that, that they'd won and that Christians had lost, all they had to do was show the body of Christ, the body that was in this tomb, the body that was under guard. All they had to do was present, present it as proof that he did not rise from the dead, but they couldn't. They couldn't present the body because there was no body to present. Jesus had risen from the dead. And, and we're told that Jesus didn't just appear to his closest friends, that, that it wasn't just some cleverly de devised story of the disciples kind of leaning in together and saying, all right, here's what we're going to tell people. And no, in fact, it says in Scripture that Jesus not only rose from the dead, but that he showed himself to over 500 people at once, 500 eyewitness accounts. And we're also told that Jesus revealed himself to those disciples, to, to Thomas, the disciple who doubted, he invited Thomas to touch his nail-scarred hands. In fact, church history goes on to tell us that, that Thomas went on to, to India to minister to people, telling them about the resurrected Jesus for the next 40 years of his life. Now, eventually, Thomas is captured, he's tortured, and he was told to either deny Jesus' resurrection or be executed himself. And do you know he chose death? In fact, all of those disciples, all but one of the disciples were martyred for their testimonies. Uh, those guys didn't die for a lie. And emboldened by the conviction of their eyewitness account of Jesus, those guys went throughout the world 
telling people the good news, the gospel, that Jesus rose from the dead. And I am so glad they did because my life, my life is forever changed by the truth that Jesus died. And then three days later, he rose from the dead.